It's time for the consumer tech segment, and we're going to be discussing this morning tech and disability. We're going to be focusing on hearing and um, hearing aids and so on, and find out from uh, Sandis Tate, who is um, also the host of uh, Tech and Social Media Trends on CBS. Uh, she's going to help us to understand the subject of technology and disability. Hi. Hi. How are you, Sandis? I am all right. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Mm. It's good to have you back here. It's good to be back here. All right. So always. take us into the subject of those who are deaf and hard of hearing yeah. and how tech can help them. Okay. So um, this week we observed the International Day of Persons with Disability. Mm -hmm. I think that was on Tuesday. Yeah. And for me, one of the messages I took out of the entire campaign is that we have to make a conscious effort um, to include them, be inclusive yeah, in terms absolutely. of everything that we do because they're different. Mm. Okay, we are different, but they are also different from yes. us. So, yes. in the manufacturing of products, making software and whatnot, new media, yeah. we should be able to, you know, consciously, yes, including them, yeah. helping them um, to be able to use some of these technologies that we without disability yeah. use so easily yes, yes. and um, of course we are focusing on those who are deaf or hard of, of hearing. hearing um i did some searching and mm. i just decided to bring one up okay and then i'll add uh, maybe a couple of features which are already on nearly everyone's phones okay. yes that people who are deaf or hard of hearing can use even if you are not one you can actually have these apps so that when you are Counter someone okay. who can't hear you speak. Okay. You can, yeah, engage engage better, better okay. because you don't know sign language. Yeah, interesting. A lot of us don't know sign, okay. so you may not have a disability. Yes, yes, but, but you can have such apps so that you can help them understand you better when okay. when when they Sounds meet you. Good. Yes, so the app I would be talking about is um, Live Transcribe. Now, this conversation in no way suggests that this app is the Alpha and Omega with, you know, in the, in the absence of this app, you can't use any yeah. other. Actually, speech to text okay. recognition is something that mobile like phones right. have in excess these days. Mm. Android, iPhone, it's everywhere. And there are also um, other expensive gadgets that you can acquire for this. But mm. I'm just bringing you basic ones that okay. you can find on nearly every phone. So mm. when you go to your App Store or your Google Play Store, there are so many other apps that do some of these things, but I'm just throwing light on you know, specific yes, ones. Yes. So this one is by Google. They okay. did some research, and then they came up with it. And um, I think I put um, a video there somewhere, transcribe live, transcribe, and okay. yes. So when you open the app, um, one thing that you can do is just, once it's opened, hold it, and basically keep talking. Okay. So if you are, uh, yes, if, if, if you can't hear mm. or you're hard of hearing, yeah. you just open the app yeah. and then close to a speaker. Mm. Let's say you and I, we go to parliament and yes. we are very far from the person speaking, the mm -hmm. MP moving something. Yeah. You can't go and hold it to him. So you can just put it near a speaker okay. and um, you are going to get the voice transcribed for you. Oh, I see. Yes. So you're going to have you're going to have it in script form. In script form live okay. happening. Wow. Yes. Um it's you can also do that. Okay. So they're showing that now. So the app is called Live Transcribe. Mm -hmm. All right. I circled that for y'all. And you open it. Once mm. you do that, then you hold the phone to the speaker or the person that's speaking, wherever okay. the sound is coming from. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was talking about going on Breakfast Daily and sharing an app called Google. No, I, I, I didn't do this with sound. Okay. Yes, and it was intentional. So I'll be sharing an app called um, Google Transcribe, which can determine what people are saying in real time, mm. about 70, in about 70 languages. So just hold your phone, you know, and whatnot. So I did this. I was saying this, mm. and this was being typed out on the app. Wow. So if I'm trying to speak to someone who is hard of hearing or deaf, yes. I, just, I can just show them mm. this yes. so that they don't have to listen to me. listen to you, but they can read what you're yes, saying. Yes, what I'm saying. Wow. So I, de I dictated this. Mm. I, detect I detected all of the text that you're seeing. Um, just 
just to show you how it looks like. So, mm. in the absence of 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 any other technology, yeah. just pull out your phone and try something and try like this. this yeah. For someone who can't hear you, mm. or if you can't hear yourself, of course there won't be someone who can hear listening. But no sign language interpreters around. Just pull up yeah. a, a similar app. Yeah. Yes, but this one is called Google Live Transcribe, so that you can uh, follow. So sometimes it's not that accurate. The discussion. Live, for example. I wanted okay. to say live. Okay. So the pronunciation also matters. Matters. Ah, matters. Okay. But it's a good trade-off, to yeah. be honest. It's, it's, it's fairly good. It's mm. received lots of okay. um, ratings, like very high ratings. And yeah. people even can use it at, at conferences. Because once this is on, mm. it's, it's available on a screen. You yeah. can project the screen. Absolutely. Yes. These yeah. days, you just blast it mm. for everybody at the conference. Mm. To, to, to see if you don't have an okay. somebody doing So this is very operation. interesting for yeah. me now. Um, you have a situation where you don't have an interpreter, mm. but you have persons who have challenges with hearing. hearing. So you can literally use this app mm -hmm. whilst you're doing your presentation. Yes. And it, you can broadcast what is being uh, transcribed yes. on a separate screen. On a so separate all screen. the people who have challenges with hearing can actually follow Can now your follow speech. what, yes. So it's not just wow. one... To, one person to one person yeah. use, you can actually invest in, mm. in, in projecting it yeah. dif using different technologies at mm. events. Yeah. It works. Wow. Yes. And then to the settings of this particular app. So mm. maybe, you know, the text is too small. Yes. You can go into the settings and make the text bigger. Okay. You can choose um, so that it's open there. It will demonstrate the settings is in the bottom left. And um, yes, you can do okay. text size. There we go. Yes, you can choose the language in which. Oh wow! Yeah, so the text becomes bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it will help you also choose your language preference. Mm -hmm. You know, these technologies because they are not created locally, as always, our local languages lag behind. Yes. Yes, but yeah. then Google is one um, company that I think is doing fairly well for local languages. Mm -hmm. So. Hopefully, there should be an update that puts okay. yes, yeah. some, some there. But for now, it's in um, not all the languages, and Akan is, or Chi is not there. Okay. So it's not just about languages. Look, you, can, you can allow it notify you when the person speaks, um, stops speaking, okay. and then when the person starts again. Because so you like, see, you are hard of hearing. You can't know when, the person know when somebody has actually stopped. Stop. Yes. Okay, so Applause, music, and everything. Oh, I see. So... Yes. so if the alert will come in a form of what, like a vibration? A vibration, because you're vibration. holding the device, yes. Okay. So laughter, applause, music, mm. it's, that, it's that difficult Inch for people who can hear. So they don't know whether so. people are clapping, they okay. can only see. Mm. So what's the sound they are making now, okay. everything? It would just, just like how when you're watching Netflix, you have mm. the tags telling you this is applause. Yes. Somebody in tears. Yes. It does that okay. to, to let you know that this is what is going on. So there are um, more certain, yes more settings i have a slide that addresses more settings um when it comes to um, using some of these apps so go into your settings okay mm. let's say you just don't want to touch google transcribe yeah and whatnot go into your settings i also want to show you something okay <laughs> well not literally but to if you are if you are there. working with us while mm. i'm speaking yes your settings on your phone whether iPhone or Android, every phone has accessibility. accessibility. Yes. Yeah. A lot of us overlook accessibility, but mm. actually there's a whole lot for hearing enhancement, okay. interaction and dexterity. Look, if you have shorter fingers than everybody else mm. or some fingers missing, yeah. there's a way to make your phone custom to, to do to the settings you. to suit you. All of wow. these settings are sitting down in accessibility. But since we are doing, yes, um, just hard of hearing and deafness, mm. we will deal with this. So... Baby crying, this is something that you can actually allow your phone notify you if your child is crying, but you know you can't hear your child, mm. so it will vibrate. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> I just tested it with a YouTube video yeah. of a child crying. Okay. Yes, and it worked. And it reacted. It reacted. Wow. It did. This is impressive. I mean, I've seen accessibility for the last, I don't know, 10 Please, years or whatever. Please, open it. But, uh, you know. Open it. I yeah, there's so much relevant. going on in accessibility folders. It's there for iPhone, it's there for Android. It doesn't limit mm. yeah, anybody. But of course, I'm demonstrating this on a Samsung yeah. device. Okay. Samsung is quite generous with its accessibility features. So a whole lot. And even for hearing aid supports. I mean, for mm. those who can afford hearing aids yeah. and actually need 
it to interact with their phones and everything. There are special settings in there. Some people also hear better in one ear mm. than another. Yeah, so you can, that's true. yes, you can tweak anyhow um, you like. Yeah, so left, right sound balance. Okay. Yes. Among other things. So, um, yes, of course, your phone can also give subtitles and whatnot. Mm. Yes, all of these things. Just check out your accessibility <laughs> folder in the settings of your phone wow. yeah so two things we've done the live transcribe yes. app yeah. but i'm saying that doesn't limit you to just that app mm. your phone without that app also oh, has sure. yes. accessibility settings that people who are deaf or hard of hearing mm. can can benefit from um we also have on androids and other phones our recorders our various recorders and yeah. these days what the recorders are doing or yeah i have something for for re recorder yes Besides recording, mm -hmm. you can also do this speech to text thing. So I was saying that I'm, I was, I'm going on breakfast daily, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yes. So it's recording my speech yeah. and also transcribing what I'm saying. Now, the advantage with this is while this is happening for mm -hmm. you, afterwards, you can copy the text ah. and put oh, it in your I notes see. or whatever. Okay. Okay. The first one is just for visual, like mm. looking yes. and being able to listen in on conversations. Yes. But this, you can copy the text after okay. words. So this is the suite of um, accessibility um, as accessibility features mm. that I wanted to share today, okay. specific mm. to those um, hard of hearing or yeah. yes, or deaf. Okay. Yes. So the live transcribe. Mm -hmm. um, is it a free app or, yes. or like all Google apps? It's, it's a free app. Okay. Um, one thing that Google hasn't done yet is to make it available for iOS. I searched and searched. It's been out for a while. I thought by now iOS should, should mm. have theirs, but they don't. Okay. I mean, I stand to be corrected because sometimes apps may come in different names on ah, different okay. sh in different shops. It rarely happens, though, but mm. sometimes it does. Okay. So maybe I wasn't searching one, but I did my search. It's not there. Mm. That's why in the beginning I said, let's don't think that because Google tra um, Live Transcribe is not available so for your phone or whatever, mm. so you can't get... No, actually, there are lots of apps there. Okay. But I just chose that one to do the demo here. Yeah. Okay. So, so again, you know that we have generations of phones, right? Mm -hmm. Is it specific to any any particular phone, uh -huh. or or generic? I, I am, I am, has come down yes, I am. I'm glad you asked. So one thing that I know about phones of today is sometimes it's not when you bought it; it's just the OS that you you are running ah, at okay. the moment. Okay. You may have a very old phone, but yes. once Apple Apple or OS. yes Android mm -hmm. says you can still have that OS. Okay. So it's. Um, I will not, I can't give the specific phones, models, and whatnot, mm. but just go into your access. No, we are not talking accessibility settings. We are rather talking about transcribe app. So just go to your Google Play Store yeah. and then find it. And then it will let you know whether it, it, can, it, yes. it can handle it or not. But yeah. if you don't find live transcribe, like I said, go into your accessibility settings. That one, everyone has accessibility settings on their phone. Mm. It's not about Google's app. Mm. It's about your OS. And just look for your accessibility settings mm. and see what is, is being offered mm. if you are um, deaf or yeah, hard of hearing. Your yes. challenge with yeah, your challenge with okay. hearing. Okay. Now, um, the, the thing I find very fascinating about yeah. this... Um, is that for me, you know, I'm, I have a certain pet peeve with new phones, mm. right? Um, because it's almost like you, you can't ever stop chasing after new phones because they're always adding and improving oh, on that. Yeah. What I try to do is that, uh, look, as soon as this phone cannot handle the latest OS, yes. it's time to change. It's time to change the phone. That's what I yeah. do, right? Yeah. So, but then as long as it can, it can keep, I can keep updating yes. and, and, and keep up with the new OS, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know um, how, what you found out about these apps. Are they apps that can be updated? Can it be, is there, uh, can we expect improvements on the app? I don't yeah. know if um, there's any, of, any background yes, information. Yes, I can this. stick my neck out there and say yes. For okay. a company like Google, you can expect improvements. To, to have updates That's if they don't on. kill it off. 
Mm. Google has this habit of just bringing a product. We all get excited. And then by the time you realize, boom, it's gone. So <laughs> if they don't, but accessibility is something that for years, yes. years, the, the features have been on our mm. phones. It, it don't look like they are going away anytime, anytime soon. soon. So yeah. it's work in progress. They are working on it every now. I mean, this live transcribe, I, I think I discovered it earlier this year. Google okay. did one of its input output conferences and um, announced it. Mm. Okay, who knows what they are announcing next year and whatnot. Yeah. But one thing I do know is that technology companies are dedicated to this course of mm. making tech inclusive. Mm -hmm. That I do know. That that is what I've seen them do, so I, yeah. I can expect that that's what the future looks okay. like. Yes. All right. So yes, definitely Super. there will be. Updates. Thank you very much, Sandy. You're welcome. All right. We've been speaking to Sandy Sate, who is um, ob obviously um, our, ho our guest here on consumer tech segment, but also the host of social city. Um, hey, I'm going to say city trends. Yeah. Uh, tech <laughs> and social. Trends. City trends. Yeah. Is yeah. Tech <laughs> and social media trends. <laughs> on uh, City CBS. Yes. Right, we've been talking about tech and um, hearing and those who are challenged with hearing and, um, and so on. And this app is an absolutely um, life changer, I think. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30am to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.